Alright everybody, it's me, Professor Kyle. Today's non-existent class, we're gonna talk about cyborgs and just why are they so darn spooky. So, what is a cyborg? Well, I'm glad I just asked that question. People describe cyborgs as these things that, you know, perfect blend of machinery and humans and basically the future. And I agree with those people. I consider somebody a cyborg when they have technology that is directly interacting with the brain. When the technology inside them is sending electronic signals straight to the brain itself. So basically, like instead of having a wristwatch to tell time, you have a watch embedded in your skin that automatically sends signals to your mind of what time it is. Basically, you went from having a toaster, to wearing a toaster, to being a toaster. Yeah. Aha! It is I, Toastman, with the power to toast bread! Dude, you're not a cyborg, you're just carrying a toaster. Curses! Foiled again! Behold, I have returned with a toast augmentation, rendering me, Toastman, a cyborg! Prepare to face delicious vengeance. Ah! Boy! Uh, Professor, what's so darn spooky about them? That's a good question, Chef Boyardee. How are these cyborgs spooky? Well, first, we would have to look at how a cyborg works. Well, you would have these artificial signals being sent to your brain to stimulate that something is real. So a prosthetic arm would be able to feel textures by simulating these same signals that would be sent from a natural biological arm. If you think about it, the way we read the world is through these electrical signals. When these signals get gunked up, you can perceive things as real, but aren't really there, aka hallucinations. When people start messing around with your brain, Eventually, you wouldn't be able to tell what's real or not. But it'd be better to assume that everything is real, right? So with this implant, you should be able to shoot frickin' laser beams out of your eyes. And, uh, toast bread. Oh boy, golden toasted perfection, here I come! However, I should warn you, this is a highly experimental procedure. So you might see some side effects in your daily life. So now we can't tell what's real or not. How fun. But that's just the beginning of the bonanza. Just like in dreams, you can have memories that you remember very vividly, but never happened. And with this technology, you can literally rewrite someone's memories, and therefore, their identity. You can, like, wake up one morning and realize all those memories you had, like, never actually happened, man. Hey, what's the shizzle, man? So this is the plot. What? It's me, Slim Shizzle. Here's a picture of my wife. Isn't she hot? Can you stop? Dude, your name is Jimmy Smith Jr. You've been working at a car factory for the last 15 years. I don't know where this whole rapping thing come out. Also, that was just a picture of Matt LeBlanc. So, I don't know what you're doing. What? So, well, this is all grand and dandy, but, you know, whatever. It probably would be in a well-controlled environment like the government. Aha! That's where you're wrong! If your cybernetic augmentations can remotely access stuff, that means you can be hacked. And ha! The government? Are you serious? Have you not been keeping up with the NSA stuff? And oh, what's this? MK Ultra, the CIA brainwashing program, where they brainwash people to become 
Sniper cells to assess their targets when a keyword is spoken? What?